Hello, good evening, and welcome to the first of many. We hope with uh, with Scott Sue. You probably used to see me in a different coloured shirt. So, so yes, I, I, I've moved. I am now head of technical with uh, the Skullmore Group. So I'm very, very happy to be here and talking to you today. Um, what we've got is a number of things planned for you now. We brought that plan forward because of lockdown 2.0. The government introduced that, so I thought what I'd do is I'd, I'd actually start to bring some of the planned events forward, this being one of them planned events. I've got more to share with you on this later on, so, so please stay tuned for that one. Um, it would be remiss of me to get the opportunity to say something about Tony and absolutely just 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 leave it hanging there. Um, for all of you that knew and remember Tony Cable, I was lucky enough to work with him for a number of years um, Tony, unfortunately, sadly passed away a couple of, of days ago. Um, his family have been in touch with me. They're saying thank you very much to all the well wishers and for the, all of you sending your support and well wishes to the family. They're receiving all the messages. We're passing all that on. Um, I worked with Tony in, in for about eight years in the industry. He was absolutely brilliant. He was a legend in his own lunchtime. He remembers all that. He's absolutely brilliant. He, he uh, unfortunately wasn't great with his health towards the end, but he honestly, when he's talking to me, he just talks about the contractors so much and his love of the industry and he got his energy from from you guys and pretty much all of us do really we always pick up on how you guys are doing out there so so yeah unfortunately tony cable did pass away and we are all thinking of his family at this particular moment in time um we are going to be doing a number of these. This is our first, as I've mentioned already to you. This is a small technical snippet looking at how we can provide solutions to you on your day-by-day -day contracting lives. So this is looking at the insulation resistance testing when you've got things like this connected. So, so this is the USB socket. So it's normal 13 amp socket as you fitted. Probably fit loads of them. It's got USB uh, connectivity in it. What do we need to consider? Well, a couple of years ago, um, me in a previous life i started to look at this we got a lot of questions so me and my old colleague jake green back at nic eic we got some questions about people saying do you need to test them don't you need to test them um should you be testing at all the circuit because they're, they're a connected component that goes across live and neutral and you're getting all sorts of funny readings back so we started to at that point look at them and look to see what what was out there and, and i've got still got one of the old sockets that that we we started to get now been taking it apart, got it in the workshop earlier on and started to take it apart. And this is what we're talking about here. Look at the, the difference between what you normally see on the back of one of these sockets and, and then one of these again. So there's some components here, some electronic components. And the higher end of the market you go to select your accessories, you're going to find a difference between that and some of the other accessories that are out there. So for instance, some of the components that are on here on this printed circuit board are capable of handling the 500 volt DC test that we're gonna do when we're sticking stuff like this on it and starting to test the installations that we've been installing and energizing. Some of them though, won't. I found out because people were asking me, coming to tech talks and the other industry events that I used to be involved in saying, um, I've done this, can't get it to work. So the guys at Klein, kindly gave me one of these to go around and test. So uh, I did do, went around, offered this out, pushed it in, and they were getting some sort of readings out, but, but not the full readings or the values that they should have been getting. So again, started to look at, all you could really do at the time is just swap this one off and put another one on. Since my time with the Skullmore Group, um, I've been asking the, the geeky guys, I've been sat with the technicians, I've been sat with them looking at the solutions that they've got and that we provide as a group and talking about what you need to consider when you're, when you're testing these. And now the higher end of the market, the stuff inside here is actually rated at that 500 volt threshold. So you can perform an insulation resistance test on here or on the circuit that it provides energy to this and you shouldn't be damaging these at all, which is really good to know because when you're coming to do EICRs and you're looking to perform tests on these, if you know what brand they are, you're pretty much safe. You can conduct that test at the 500 volts. Now, if some of you are sitting there saying, whenever I do them, I always knock this down to the 250 volt range and, and leave it at that. This is where Amendment 2 may turn around and bite you a little bit. For all new installations that you're looking to complete, it is really stipulated it may not come out yet, we don't know, but it is really stipulating that we make sure that you do test at 500 volts on all new installations. 
We know lots of people out there, especially in the domestic installations, were putting it down to 250 because of smoke detectors, programmable uh, thermostats, boilers that were in there as well in the installation. These were in there as well. People didn't want to damage them. We'll get some readings back from them. What we're saying to you now is if it's this that's in there, don't worry about it. You're going to be absolutely fine at the 500 volt threshold. But for a lot of the other equipment that's out there, you're probably still going to have to look at disconnecting it or making sure that you bridge across it to make sure it doesn't look to damage that one. So this is a very quick one, looking at what we've got for you and how we're going to come about. I've got just some more information for you to start to look at those. So this is looking at uh, some other. So just what we've got coming up for you the rest of this week, we've got some training that's free and really available for you, looking at introductory to um, 5839 or to 5266. So we're looking at that one, emergency lighting, CCTV is coming up in another week, but we've got fire alarm stuff coming up. Keep looking out because we are going to keep coming out with all this information. It's going to be there. It's free. It's available for you. I'm going to start to look at some of the some of the qualities of these and the accessories that you can be fitting. That's the next snippet that I've got coming up for you. That's going to be on Friday as well. Friday the 13th. Stay indoors. Stay safe. We'll come to you. Don't have to worry about coming to us. We appreciate here at Skullmore that it is a difficult time with lockdown too. Some sometimes have an effect on all of us. We just want to try and help, and technically we thought we could help by doing these. Please, please take the time to provide feedback and let us know what you want to talk about next, and we will look at it. I can look at pretty much everything that you will need, or I can start to look at and get guests in that can help us. I'm not the master of everything, and there's quite a lot out there that I don't know, but what we'll do at Skullmore is we'll go and find the answers to make sure that it is going to be easier for you out there to carry out your contracting lives. So until next time, I'm going to leave you with the rest of your evenings. Please stay safe, and I hope to see you very, very soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.